Is it recording? Okay, good. Wait. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian. This is going to be a pretty long blog here. Okay, so I heard that the iPhone 4S will not be receiving iOS 10. What does this mean for you? I, um, Apple will no longer will not will not update this to the iOS 10. Instead, they'll just keep it iOS 9 forever. Well, but but don't worry, you could still use your phone. It's just that when I was I was 10, but there's some way you can get I was 10 iPhone 4s and or devices that don't support it. So you can get the wallpaper. You can get wallpaper and set it as you want. Like I have one on 3GS, but I'm recording on 3GS. So sorry, I'm recording on 3GS by the way. So here's what will happen. It, it's going to lose access to many features that I, I was 10. The iPhone 4 is extremely slow, and I agree. I, I, as the virus crashed me like so many times, I couldn't stand it. But in 3GS, it ran pretty fast, because I'm recording on 3GS. You think the, ca the camera quality isn't too good. It's 3 megapixels. That is... It's still it's in a, it's average quality though yeah it's average quality but the i but the iPhone for us is still usable even though when I was if I was ten it's still usable don't worry guys you can still use your your go, your old iPhone four S the one that you own and love even though we're not receive I was ten in the in October meant in the fall but yeah. The iPhone GD is like ma a million times worse than that. The iPhone G had stopped support in iOS in 2010. When iOS 4 came out, it could not receive iOS 3, not 4. With, and also had a lack of home, wall, home screen wallpapers and multitasking. And if you tap, press double, double, du double press the home button, it will come up with the full menu with the favorites, with the favorites, Favorites menu in the phone map. You could also have open to play use the iPod application and many other apps, and Spotlight Church too. And haven't you heard? Spotlight Church is now back from the old iOS, which I which look 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 at my wait look at my old iPod Touch. I don't want to show you my passcode. So, look at my old iPod Touch. It's got Spotlight Church, but the features in iOS 10 were not mentioned, so it is not available. And besides, this iPod Touch and this OS is very obsolete, but iOS 6 isn't that obsolete. So, yeah. The iPhone 2G only ran up to iOS 3.3, which is an outdated version of iOS and the camera is 2 megapixels it doesn't even record video you take a picture of something for example I'll take a picture of my iPod 4G I, I press the snap button and it comes out in low quality <laughs> so yes it's also very slow it's extremely slow yeah, peace out. Yeah, the iPhone 2G is extremely slow, and but the only good thing about it is it's got the old look of iOS, which is good. The old look was best. I loved it. It was like the best look ever. And also, you could still get music on it, but iTunes will not load. In order for you to get music on that old ancient device, you need to use you need to sync it with iTunes. So I so iTunes app will no longer work. It's dead, just auto crashes. <laughs> so you also can't get videos. You need to sync you need to sync videos too. And you have limited apps to require was three. And all the apps are made to require was seven and eight. Which almost every app requires that was seven still as you have due to my rant in of all sound screen it's app apps to require with seven. Many of them still require with seven. But some requirements still still require with eight. So
So last acquiring six, but stop but but don't worry, you can still if you have a 3GS out there, you could still get apps. As no version though. So yeah. That's so I still call this vlog Two Seized iPhones. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. And stay tuned for more views, guys. You could subscribe to my channel, comment, rate, and share. Bye, everyone. Have a nice day. And peace out. I hope I did this correctly.